here at Sunnet Bun, we wanted to come by and visit our friends at Zenith Aircraft. I'm Dan Johnson, talking with Roger Duper. We've done uh, quite a few videos together, got to fly together, and the uh, most recently in the uh, cruiser. But this one here is the regular 750, not the cruiser. That is the short field takeoff and landing aircraft, the Sky Jeep, as it's become known to many people. Um, Having a good show, are you, first oh, of yeah. all? Yeah. Excellent show here at Sun and Fun. Uh, we've seen a lot of new customers and a lot of old customers, and uh, they still like the, the 750 Stoll series. Well, I think that's your biggest seller in recent years. Is that not correct? That is correct. They like to go slow, sightsee, and they like the high wing easy to get in and out. Yeah, well, we love the we love the going slow part ourselves. That's kind of a lot of our market here watching our videos, so that's great. Um, First of all, since it's a lot of old customers coming to see you too, tell me about the airplane count for Zenith Aircraft over the years. The 20 plus years now, what, where, how, how old is the company first of all? We started in 92, so we're going on, what, 23 years? 23 years, so you're coming up on a big 25 there, but long time in the business down there in Mexico, Missouri. How many airplanes are flying? Well, how many kits have you delivered first? That's the biggest number. We've probably delivered probably 1,500 kits, 2,000 kits from Zenith, and I would say there's probably close to 1,000 flying right now. So a, a good many of them flying. That's an interesting number. Some companies deliver a lot of kits, but not so many of them get flying because the kit is a real work effort. Uh, and uh, well, let's talk about that since I mentioned it. What's the typical build time on a 750 like this? Uh, typical build time for a 750 as a standard kit is between 450 to 500 hours. Okay. And that's just to do the airframe kit and then probably another two to three hundred hours to do your engine installation and uh, instrument package. And does that include paint too? Correct. Yes. Okay. So maybe eight hundred hours altogether for uh, a builder that's taking some time to get it done right? Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, Roger, was that Zenith Aircraft has embraced just about every engine I can think of. I mean, you do the Jabru, you do the Continental, you do the UL Power. I'm sure there's one or two more in there, but now also the Rotax 912 IS. I don't know that we've seen the Rotax 912, of course, before. Uh, the IS is new for Zenith aircraft? It is new. Uh, they started flying the 750 with the Rotax IS engine about a year and a half ago, and then we've had it down at our factory for about the last year, trying to put as many hours on as we can to uh, learn more about the IS. Uh, it's a very smooth engine, you know, smooth startups, smooth shutdowns. It's quite different than the, the carbureted Rotax engines. Yeah, it's a different animal completely. Did you have to do anything to the airplane to accommodate the 912? And specifically, of course, that would be firewall forward stuff. The rest of the airframe is the same, but did you have to do anything to accommodate that new engine? Uh, yes, it, we didn't have to just uh, add a new cowling on, but we had to actually, it's a fuel injection system, so we have a header tank in the back baggage area, so the uh, fuel flow, the return tanks, goes back in the header tank, and then we have vent lines going there to the main tanks. That's how a fuel injection system works, is it brings a lot of fuel in, but it doesn't use all it delivers to the engine, so Correct. some of it has to spit back into a header tank. That's the purpose of that? Correct, and, and the reason for you're your using so much fuel going back into the tank is to cool the fuel. Ah, so you, uh, okay. the fuel gets very hot and you want to return some of it to get the cooler fuel. Okay. And anything uh, with the cowl shape or whatnot? I mean, it looks like kind of a little jaunty lip here, so uh, did you have to do that because of the engine or was that just for design change? We did that for design change because we wanted to get the coolest temperatures we could on CHTs and oil temperatures that you can because we want this package to work anywhere in the world. Ah, okay. Uh, in mid Missouri, yeah, you sell all over the. You, you're, people think of you as a U.S. company, uh, but that's not true. You actually sell in many countries, do you not? Correct. Yes, yeah, all over the world. And you know, like if you're flying the 750 in Africa, the temperatures are probably 110 degrees daily. So we wanted to make sure that the oil temperatures would be satisfied. Now this little lip here doesn't do all of that. What are some other things you did to help cool it? Uh, we have a bigger oil cooler up front, and okay. uh, it's and the radiator is a little bigger too. Okay. Um, what else is coming for Zenith? Uh, we've got several things working on the board. Um, right now we're trying to just finish up our 750 Cruiser, um, adding a lot of little mods and, and trying to make it go a little bit faster than the Stoll. Uh, but every, every, besides that, it's just. Uh, getting the kits out and starting flying them. So how many models in the uh, Zenith aircraft uh, catalog today? we got the 750 uh, uh, STOL, the short takeoff and landing, the one that most people know, that's now your biggest seller. What else have you got beside that that you can deliver to customers, Roger? Well, we have the 701, where it all started. Still doing the 701, okay. And we have the 750 Stoll. Which is a little wider, right. is that right? The 750 is a Correct. little bigger cabin. 
And then we have the 750 Cruiser, which is our newest, latest model. It's, uh, you know, it's, it goes about 15 to 20 miles an hour faster than the Stoll. And then we have our 650 model, which uh, it goes about 15 miles an hour faster than the Cruiser. So and that's the low wing model. That's the low wing. Okay, and that's been around a while. Many people know it as the 601. Are you not doing the 601 anymore? Is it just the no, 650 just the now? Just the 650. Okay, so unlike the 7 Series, the 6 Series is just the 650, the newer version. Correct. Build times on all of those similar to this one? Very, very similar. Um, you're t talking 450 to 500 hours on the airframe. And then you're using what's uh, broadly known now as matched hole uh, construction techniques. Now that used to be a foreign term that we had to explain, but the simple part of it is it makes it a lot easier for someone building in their garage, their hangar, what have you. They don't have to have an elaborate set of jigs, is that correct? That's correct. Um, all the parts are pre-cut, bent, and they're actually pre-drilled on the cruiser to the correct size. So all you're going to need is a nice, flat 12-foot table. So and, hopefully... and today's Zenith Aircraft is just a kit company. You're not making fully built airplanes, except for the ones, of course, you build yourself for demonstration purposes. That is correct. Yeah, we just sell the kits. All right, a lot of good information about Zenith Aircraft here. Uh, you got a great website. Tell us how to find it. We'll put it up on the screen. And uh, where, they can go, where can we go to get more information from you? Go to zenithair.com and you can find all the information needed for all our airplanes. All right, great. Lots more about Zenith, videos, articles, and more, and many other airplanes, all in affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Roger Dupert and myself here at Sun and Fun.